Let's see. Boss rush runs. I love boss rush runs. Trees at 43. We have Lord of the Pit. We, we're going to get rid of that trinket. And we have a jar. And we start right next to a 1% planetarium. Dude, starting with flight is going to be so good. I don't care. We're taking this. I'm not sure I want to take the planetarium. I'm I can't have a basement one planetarium and I'll take it, right? Please just don't be Mars or Pluto. Jupiter. Oh, no. That's the one I didn't want. Oh, no. We're actually Jupiter. Well, I guess I got what I asked for. I guess I need to learn my planetarium items. <laughs> I mean, Pluto is not terrible, but it's essentially a speed down with a non-existent upside. So it's just a speed down. Hey, I just poisoned that guy. And that guy. I poisoned two dudes in there. Also, apparently enemies dying to poison do give me. Do give me flies, so that's nice at least. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. Jupiter is the goat. Yeah, we can peep inside there. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. But look at how fast the wings flap now that I'm a gas giant. Okay. We're going to maximize the Pluto value. There we go. And then we're going to immediately fart on famine. All right. Value. What? Okay. Value, by the way. That's a meat cube. And we're going to move on. It is a boss rush run. So we do have a bit uh, to hurry up, but that's generally okay. I mean, these little enemies, these room with lots of little enemies are actually really good for Pluto. But that's pretty much about it. Yeah, we'll go in there, sure. I keep saying Pluto when I mean Jupiter. I, I do. You guys know what I mean. I'm basically a content boomer at this point. I'm allowed to say things that aren't right. So stop correcting me. Otherwise, I'm going to ask you to get off my lawn. There was a tinder rock there. I just need some bombs. Those aren't bombs. Didn't you know being wrong on the internet is illegal, though? I've been creating content for 10 years. I'm well aware. I've just learned to ignore those kinds of people. <laughs> or talk back at them. Which isn't really a huge accomplishment, because what other options do I have? I expect better. Aw, oh, damn. I'm about to get cancelled for my uh, lack of interplanetary knowledge. Darn. This is how my career ends, I see. Over farts. Unfortunate. Ragman! You're dead. Sweet! Don't care about the range of... Eh, I mean, I have really low range. It's not terrible. Oh. Well. I took a second to think there if the order in which I picked these up makes any difference, but it doesn't. Oh, dude, I'm Leviathan on floor two. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> What's my... Oh, yeah, right. Lord of the Pit. <laughs> cool. I'm actually in the process of making a video about the funny laser. Uh, like, just yesterday, I sat down and actually recorded some funny laser footage. Feeling pretty silly now. Now, I mean, I would have had a separate run anyway, but yeah. I hope we can still make boss rush. It's going to be close. It's going to be close, but I'll try my best. Bro, what is it with all the keys? Uh, magic mush? No? Okay. Full heart. 
Oh man, curse room's been coming through. Jar of Flies is also really good with the Brimstone because it's so easy for me to just insta-kill a lot of rooms. That's a lot of re I've never seen this room before. That's crazy. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately. This is one of the few instances in this game where it actually makes a difference in what order you pick stuff up. Because with that item in particular, as soon as you pick up Brimstone, your uh, multiplier from it just gets locked in, right? So if you pick it up while you have a two times damage multiplier, it's just going to be permanently two times. How did that not die? Embarrassing. We need damage. Gertie! Hey, damage. Hey, more damage. Assuming this is the good one. Come on, give me the good one, sir. The good one. That's the bad one. Hey, Chushi, thank you. Jupiter, yeah. It's a, it's a sad day, but at the same time, look at all these other things I have. <laughs> Can't be too upset. Blow this up for me? I mean, kind of. Blow this up for me? Blow this up for me? Do, 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 do. Oh, hold up. That's a bomb banger. I don't want to blow that up. Why do Jupiter wings look so cursed? I can't even. I, I love it. The aesthetics go so well together. I can get all these nerds without uh, wasting my flies. That's nice. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Good lord. Good lord! <laughs> Glad you still have the mustache, completes the whole look. I feel like you're not gonna see much of that mustache anymore. <laughs> but I'm glad you enjoy it. Main problem here now is that the flies really don't do any damage anymore but i think i'll manage i need some damage do i i'm really not sure also since when i i didn't know this was a thing but apparently if you have almond milk and brimstone you can actually aim diagonally like, I don't have control stick right now. Curse of the Labyrinth. Hold up, I missed out on my sack. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say we're probably making boss rush here. It's a blue baby run too, so I don't need to worry about the X marks to spot. Oops. Although I do need to worry about... Um... Well, I have a moon card now. I do need to worry about finding the item room if I go for... If I find the boss early. But now I can just teleport back. Like, if I find the item... Uh, the, the boss, I can just go in if I want to. I don't want to, but... I'm saying I could. That's a luck up. them Can't 
can't read the name, man. Thanks, Wesker. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust your judgment on that one. What the hell is going on? Oh, I didn't even see that guy. What the heck? I, I tried to leave the room as I was reading Chan. And couldn't. What is going on with my... With my brimstone? My brimstone is having fun, okay? And that's all that matters. Yay, Ace of Spades. Because what does this run need? More keys. Right? This is so weird. I'm holding right right now, but it seems to be aiming diagonally up. Now it doesn't anymore. Okay, well, I'm going to blame Almond Milk on that one. I don't think I, I don't think I need to understand everything that's going on with this brimstone. I don't think I can. Oh, uh, what do we got? Sad onion. Does that even do anything with brimstone? Like my tear rate just went up, but like, does it mean I I start firing faster after holding down the button? I, I don't know if tier rate does anything for me with this, but hey, I mean, it can't be bad. I don't think, at least. Oops. I don't even care about that. Oh, man. What time we at? Almost 11 minutes. I mean, I can clear this floor and then use the moon card later. Still looking for one store and one item room. Oh, I'm out of here. Is this an XL floor? This is an XL floor, all right. Hello? My brimstone was not cooperating. Okay, glad we got some more range on our infinite range brimstone. Apparently, um... Apparently, I do have to full clear this if I want to get all the loot. Pull them all together. Sweet. All right. We could use some homing. Like every once in a while, this perma homes. Well, not perma homes. It homes for like a few frames because of almond milk giving you homing sometimes. But some permanent homing is always appreciated, especially with brimstone. But especially when your brimstone goes crazy. I don't know, I would just enjoy some homing. I would have also enjoyed not full clearing this floor, but hey. Here we are. I'm gonna take the full card with me, because why not? Glad I cleared the entire floor just to do this. Man, that sure was worth it. I'll never get to see suplex. You might actually be correct on that. My DPS isn't bad, but come on. Every time you find Brimstone, you just hope to yourself that you get the kind of run that clears every room in one click, right? 
It's definitely good. Like, it's acceptable DPS. Oh. But I'd always be down for more deeps. I'm definitely not down for a pattern boy. All right. I get so caught up trying to aim this brimstone that I forgot to dodge again. I don't know, man. The D I mean, the DPS is there, but it doesn't exactly make me happy. Uh, blue baby run. So we take this. I don't really think I care about either of these. Ghost pepper. Oh. Someone say homing? Ah. I'm gonna keep on pressing the the telepathy for dummies. Even though it doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> you know, when you usually have multiple telepathy for dummy users in one room, uh, it at least gives you more range. But uh, with Brimstone, that's a bit redundant. Gish. Oh, up there. Ah! Yeah, I, I don't know. My damage really doesn't make me happy, but it doesn't make me unhappy, but it's not great. Oh? Huh? God, I love it when these random jumping enemies are feared and they just jump wherever they want. And because of the dark ground, you can't even really tell where they're going. I could pick up the jar again, sure, but the jar isn't going to give me that many flies and they deal barely any damage, but it's better than nothing. You're right. Is that haunt? Oh, it is haunt. Yet another enemy that freaks out on fear. Oh, Jesus. Bro, you good? I guess as a ghost, Haunt isn't really too used to being scared. Hey, look at that. The jar is pretty good here, huh? I don't even know what the second boss is yet. Oh, Duke of Flies. Do, 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 I, what? I have no idea what hit me. Oh! <laughs> I really don't love the situation I'm in. Maybe I should have not taken the almond milk. <laughs> Like, I thought I was good here, but... Okay. Oh, 
Come on, man. I can't lose the streak to a voluntary almond milk take. Almond milk is content, that's why I took it. That doesn't mean I don't regret it right now. Okay, the other boss is dark one. That's not entirely scary. Man, I love the part where almond milk makes brimstone like not fully infinite range at times. I was hoping I could make him jump onto the spikes, but that doesn't seem to work. With the husk, I thought it was pin. Oh, come on, we gotta be done soon, right? Oh, now it's pin. Okay. Spider baby. Oh, oh no. I, I think I'm done here, right? I've seen the secret room. I think I have better uses for the fool card than this. Oh boy. M Dryer, thank you for 62 months of support. I shouldn't have taken the almond milk, man. <laughs> Strength card. Well, should have used the full card last for. Having flight on this floor is incredibly helpful because there's a lot of creep producing enemies. And I don't need to worry uh, where I step. Actually, I want to pick up that rotten heart because it's going to put me on polar at proc. I also, like, I'm going to check every rock individually to try and find the tinted rocks Well, Secret room? Nope. <laughs> I can't go in there. Not for my last soul heart. I'm a bit surprised that this is a dead end. I'm also predicting Mr. Fred. Now that I've seen this. Actually, that dead end I just went to probably has the super secret room, right? Blow up this guy. 
man. What am I supposed to do with 93 cents? Scary. Uh, hmm. Slot machine, baby. I really hope we're going to get a... Uh, what's it called? Really, we're going to get an arcade on the next floor. An arcade could be a true run winner here. Oh, I thought it was the room with the eyeballs at the bottom. No! Do I have hearts on the ground? No? Really? I'm gonna have to use the strength card for heal? Uh... I would D100 now. I too would D100 now. It's not Mr. Fred. Whose idea was it to take almond milk? Unbelievable. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold up. We gotta find a, a red heart before we take that. I'm also gonna blow up all of these things. Oh wait, there's a red heart outside. There's half a red heart outside. That's not enough. Oh! White heart! Okay, come on. We gotta make it to the next floor. <laughs> uh, and I need another heart drop. I can blow up the, the blood donation machine. Take the pill. Yeah! Pop the health down! And lose the run right here. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, I, ne I needed to find a heart that I can store inside that bone heart before picking it up so it was protected. Wait. Where did I get a heal from? Oh? Huh? I have placenta? Oh, I do have placenta. I didn't. <laughs> okay. Good. For, for everything that is holy. For the love of everything. There's one boss I absolutely do not want to see right now. <laughs> and you all know which one it is. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's a good boss. Is it bloat? Nah, bloat is easy peasy. Matriarch is the one that I'm scared of on Womb 1. <laughs> that one is terrifying. Gideon? Yeah, I don't want to see Gideon either, but he can't show up here at least. That's the best part about the Womb, is Gideon can't show up. Dude, what am I doing? I'd be fine with either a health up or a damage up. A tears up. Ah, brother. A delirium. All right. Uh, hearts? No hearts? Chariot question mark. That's actually incredibly helpful if I can bring it all the way to Blue Baby. Placenta has never been so clutch before. I'm just going to stay here where the turret can't see me. All right. Maybe? Nope. All right, telepathy for dummies goaded. That was close. Uh, 
I have I have really really good room clear and really really bad boss clear. So if I can like find one more thing that helps me solve boss fights, I should be good to go. Oh brother. Peep why? Anyone also notice how you never find Tindadrox when you really need them? But if you have full HP and like three bombs, then there's Tindadrox everywhere. Oh, what the heck? I can't take that. <laughs> That's half my health. <laughs> oh, what? Excuse you? Why? Bro, I actually just got cheated out of my... Alright, that works. It, it kind of sucks to lose it that way. Did I not kill them all? Oh, I totally missed it then. I thought they were all dead. All right. Uh, don't care. All right. Two diamonds. <laughs> Dude. Oh, come on, dude. <sighs> Zazel really let himself go. That's what happens when you don't work out, kids? There's the arcade. Um, why? Why have I not learned yet to beware of pin? All right, go on, come on. Okay. I mean, I, I have to. It just really sucks how it decided to not give me... Two machines to play on at the same time. But I guess every time I find a heart, I can put it into uh, this guy. Oh no, he's gonna get the dollar. I mean... I can't say I'd be surprised. <laughs> or, or that. Yeah, sure. Game couldn't even give me that... that dollar. I have no idea where the super secret is. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Hold up. By the power of uh, random eternal hearts? Yeah, I mean, this run is bad, but I don't think it's... I'm gonna wait for placenta bad. Like, you're not wrong, of course, but uh, th this was the bloody lust, right? Yeah. Chat has infinite patience, prompt does not. Chat wouldn't have infinite patience if I actually played out the entire thing. I can do one more play here, though. Oh, Ouija board! Not that that would have done anything, but it's, it's just nice to win, you know? 
Okay, don't hug the fire poop. <laughs> Has no damage, passes damage because the damage costs half my max HP. Max HP is also a form of damage output on boss fights. If you last longer, you deal more damage. So if I spend half my health, I need to double my damage output for it to be worth it. Which that didn't. No, it was two hearts. Oh, come on. Shenanigans. <laughs> Do we end the floor with three? It, it was still... I, I don't think it was worth it. You're free to disagree, but... I think the two hearts are way more valuable than the bit of damage that I get. Two. Gonna pop the two of diamonds. Oh, oh, huge. Like, it heavily depends on the play style if you are good at avoiding damage or not. I mean, if you never take damage, it literally doesn't matter what you do. So you always want to argue from a perspective of, I'm going to take damage, right? So um, the question you always have to ask yourself is, does the damage I pick up make up for the two hearts that I lose out on, right? For the two heart containers. So like, yeah, if I think, if I think there's going to be a room that deals more than two hearts of damage to me, even with the bloody lust, then I should be skipping it. And if I think that bloody lust or lusty blood, whichever it was, uh, prevents exactly that, then I should be taking the lusty blood. Um, and I'm like, I'm not saying that my decision making there is 100% correct. I don't know. I'm saying it's close, and the decision I made was that it's not worth it. Like, I, I can't really definitively know if the thing is worth the two hearts. Because uh, un unlike a bunch of other games like Slay the Spire, you can't really run any calculations on it. Uh, you, you also got to realize that Lusty Blood you know, it needs to ramp up, right? Like, it doesn't give me permanent damage either. So in some rooms, it's going to be completely useless. Like in the Isaac fight, for example, it's, it's probably not going to do anything, assuming on how long it takes me to clear the wave where he spawns angels. Like, it's just a lot of factors influencing that decision to the point where it's impossible to say which one is objectively correct. Well, I finally found a use for the money. Oh yeah, I mean, if this was the health I had, I would have taken Lusty Blood. But that wasn't the health I had. That's the point. <laughs> Crystal Key. I mean, that's going to be more useful than the sack thing. Fun card. See, there's another one of those decisions, right? Because that sun card is worth three hearts. But this is one of those scenarios where it's probably not worth it, or definitely not worth it, because... Like, the Emperor card just skips me way more, obviously. Because I skipped the entirety of the chest. Oh, this is like the first actually bad room I've seen all all cathedral long and it's not even technically a bad one it's just my boss clear is so abysmal 
that it turns into a bad room. I didn't take two hearts worth of damage that whole time yet. <laughs> but but then it comes back to what I said at the start, right? Like if you never take damage, it literally doesn't matter what you do. If I'm never going to take more than two hearts of damage in a single room uh, until the end of this run, it literally didn't matter what I did, right? Like it made no difference to the outcome of the run. All right. Bro, every run I'm begging and begging and begging for tier 8 and now the one it doesn't matter in <laughs> I get every single tier 8 item under the sun <laughs> With the addition of Jupiter if the devs got poor slash annoyed by the constant farting I think the whole farting thing is an acquired taste you know, you either find it hilarious or you don't. And if you do, you're not going to get tired of it. I can tell you that from experience because I do find it hilarious. Bold of you to assume that the devs ever tested this game. I don't know. I mean, the, the period of time in which Kilburn worked on it, aka Repentance was a really, really good time for the game, right? Like, I've, I've said this so many times, but him actually retiring from working on Isaac is a, is a huge loss. Why not pay the key beggar down to four keys? Because I always kind of forget that these guys exist and are worth anything. Wait, what key beggar? Oh, that guy in there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I always kind of just forget that they're actually good. Would have definitely been the correct play to play the key beggar. Ow. Ow. Hey look, I took three hearts of damage there. It was definitely worth it. Although I may have done that on purpose. <laughs> Who knows? Impossible to tell. <laughs> Oops. That was not on purpose. Because I just lost my eternal heart. Man, I picked up that eternal heart thinking it was just safe, you know? With all the soul hearts. But then I pulled this one. Then I did a probs. <laughs> and lost. It's okay. It's okay. Like, this is more than enough health for Blue Baby. We're gonna go get our book charged and then we're fine. Hugging the boss to fart and meat cube on them doesn't count. I mean, I think we can all safely say I wouldn't have done that at two hearts, so. You know, this run started with Curse of the Blind and Jupiter, so I'm down. Also, I have almond milk. Like, what bad thing is it going to give to me? I guess, I guess mom's knife with the almond milk could have actually ended the run. <laughs> I don't think Isaac's heart would have killed me. Although mom's knife with this damage output might have. <laughs> oh, this damage output is abysmal. Wait, what? Oh, Taurus. <laughs> Remind me to never pick up almond milk ever again. Just kidding, I'm totally gonna pick it up next occasion. But still, like... I'm sure I would have taken half the time for this run if I just never picked that up. Soy milk, greater almond milk. I mean, that for sure. Nope, no, stay away from me. GG.